Welcome to Boys Brigade and Girls Brigade at Home. In this episode we'll be having a story of Daniel in the Lion's Den told by Charlie, hear a new song and make a craft to help you pray and have a challenge. Today I'm sitting at my piano. I'm finding more time to play at the moment but I'm missing all the other things I usually do like going to Girls Brigade and Boys Brigade and seeing you all. I do hope that you are finding time to do the things that you really, really love and really enjoy. Hi guys, I've been asked to talk to you a little bit about Daniel this week and to read you the story of Daniel and um, when he was thrown into the lion's den. So Daniel was um, a really powerful man by this point. He was one of the top rulers of Babylon and he was really, really well respected and trusted, but he still put all of his trust in God and he was really really um, devout I suppose about spending time with God about carving that time away to make sure that he was always talking to God listening to God saying what was on his heart um, and despite all of the power he had for himself he never trusted in that he only trusted in God's power over him and in his life and I think that's a really wonderful thing. Daniel was growing old, but King Darius thought Daniel was so wise that he appointed him to be one of the three rulers of Babylon. They ruled the kingdom under the king. Daniel served the king loyally, but he still prayed to God. Three times every day he knelt at his window facing distant Jerusalem to say his prayers. The other two rulers of the kingdom were very jealous of Daniel and they plotted to get rid of him. But however hard they tried, they couldn't find anything they could accuse him of doing wrong. They decided that the only way was through his devotion to God. They went to King Darius and begged him to make a new law. O oh, King, they said, make a law that for 30 days everyone must pray only to you. If anyone prays to any other god, they shall be fed to the lions. The king agreed and he made the law that could never be changed. Daniel heard about the new law, but three times every day he knelt at his window to say his prayers to God. The two rulers watched him and delighted that their plan had worked. They rushed to tell the king. King Darius was angry and upset. He liked and trusted Daniel, but Daniel had broken the law and he must die. There was nothing the king could do to save him. He ordered Daniel to be put into the lion pit. As Daniel walked down into it, a huge stone was pushed across the entrance to close it. As it closed, King Darius said, May the God that you trust in save you. The king went back to his palace, but that evening he was so upset he couldn't eat his supper. He sent his servants away and he couldn't sleep all night. Then, very early, in the morning, he hurried to the lion pit. Did your God save you? he shouted. I'm here, answered Daniel. My God kept the mouths of the lions shut. He knows I've done nothing wrong. The king was delighted that Daniel was alive and unharmed. He ordered him to be taken out of the pit and commanded the two rulers who had plotted against Daniel to be brought there instead. They were pushed into the pit and were very soon killed by the lions. King Darius made a new law. Let everyone in my kingdom fear and respect Daniel's God, who saved him from the lions. He is the living God, and his kingdom will last forever. I think the most amazing thing about Daniel is that despite everything, not only did he trust that God would save him, but he felt so strongly about the fact that he needed to pray to God, about how important that was to his life that he did it, that he stuck up for his beliefs, no matter what he was put against. I think that's a really incredible thing. And I think that's something that we can really take, um, take some learning from is that no matter how hard it is to stand up for what we believe in and to follow through with our actions, what we believe in, we can pray for strength from God that he will help us to do that. And we can stick to what we believe is true. We have a new song for this week. We know that God loves us. And this song says, your love makes me brave. God made Daniel really brave. He carried on praying to God, even though he wasn't meant to. God made Daniel brave. And when we're feeling alone and frightened, his love can make us feel brave too. Listen to this song. No, I won't be afraid. You are with me. You are right beside me. Every
Today we're going to have a go at making a prayer teller. Have a look at that. So on the outside, we would like you to write, thank you. Can you see that written there? And inside you can write all the things that you'd like to thank God for and to praise him for. Then we've got one that says, I pray for. Inside, can you write lots of people or situations that you would like to pray for? You might want to pray for people who've been affected by coronavirus. You might want to pray for people who are really lonely at this time. Next, we've got some sorry prayers. It's quite difficult being at home with your brothers and sisters, isn't it? And with your just your parents all the time. So maybe you may have said some things or done some things that aren't very good. See if you can write some sorry prayers in there. The next one are some please prayers. Maybe you'd like to ask God for something. Maybe you'd like to say, please God, help me get through this time. Please God, help me to be brave. Then inside, have a good look, we've got some numbers. So when you open it up, you can put some numbers and then you can count. And then when you get fully inside, that's where you can write the prayers that you would like. Let's show you how to make one of these. You will need an A4 piece of paper, and a pair of scissors to make the first cut. Watch and see how to make one. Now here's a challenge for you today. See if you can make a den. It might be in your living room, it might be outside, it might be in the woods. Maybe at the moment you feel quite lonely, missing your friends and people in the extended family that you can't see. We may kind of feel at the moment that we just don't belong anywhere. But remember, you all still belong to Girls Brigade or Boys Brigade. You still belong to your schools. You still belong to all the other clubs and groups that you may go to during the week. And most importantly, we all belong to God. We are part of his family. We must never ever forget that. Daniel was put in a lion's den, which was a really dangerous place. But God made it into a safe place for Daniel. This week, see if your den can become a really safe place for you. Maybe it can be a place when you can talk to God on your own. Maybe it can be a place where you can just spend time praying and being on your own and remembering all the things that you belong to. I really hope that you can do that this week. Thank you everyone who's made a flag. 
We've put some of them up outside the Baptist church leading up to Westfield. If you do have any more that you've made and you'd really like them to be included, then please let me know and I'll try and get them from you and then I can add them to the main one. Last week you had a blindfold challenge. Here's one from Levi, Leah and Joel. Just look at what they got up to this week. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this episode this week. Remember, if you have any banners, do let us know and we'll collect them. And just spend some time doing the things that you really love doing, that you really enjoy. And remember, you belong to God. God loves you and he can make you brave. <laughs>